after the last project, I kind of found myself in a little bit of a creative rut and felt like I needed to just make something. So I started off by building this little bit of a road, which kind of turned into making two more bases to go along with it. It started off with me kind of experimenting with some new techniques and some using and using some new texture pastes that I wanted to figure out how they worked before committing to a full project using them. So I really just started off using some scrap pieces of XPF foam. And I known for a while that you could use cork as a for many different things, but I've seen it used for road bases and I wanted to try my hand at it here. I've also been sitting on some AK Interactive's road or asphalt texture paste and figured this would be a good base for it. Again, the name of the game for today's video was basically me just experimenting and just straight up building, not really putting too much thought into each piece and kind of just going from step to step. I find that sometimes I can overthink things and just need to remind myself to just start jumping in and making decisions and then going from there, which has never come back to haunt me. I was also on a short time frame when I was making this road, I had to leave my house for some reason in like about three hours. So I did everything as fast as I could and applied mostly everything while everything was still wet, just going from one stage to the next. This is where the use of the hairdryer came in really handy to help dry these layers as fast as possible which also resulted in some nice kind of cracking in the asphalt, which I think actually helped add to it. Once it was mostly dry, I then made a really crude mask to paint a white line. I, for this, I just used some off-white color. We can go back and blend and hide all of the imperfections in the overspray with some of the weathering effects, so I really didn't care too much. I wanted to try to weather the road a little bit more because that, that black asphalt paste was just a little too black, and I was going for an older decayed road, so I used the sanding stick and roughed up the surface a little bit. To go along with that further decayed look, I wanted to add a pothole, and it just dug in my X-Acto knife. I then needed to unify the ground and rubble rocky textures, so I used a buff color. Again, not caring if there was going to be any overspray onto the road because that would act as our pre-dusting. And I should mention that little pieces of rubble are actually from VMS, and I think it's their fine and rough brick textures, which can be used as dirt if you just paint them the right color. I had some leftover desert grass tufts that I was using on my old man versus the drone diorama, and I felt they were appropriate here. Happy with the simple scene so far, I wanted to further weather the road, so I used some of the earthy colors that I had and just went kind of crazy with it. And with heavy use of mineral spirits, blended it all together. Happy with all of the dirt and earth tones, I then moved on to applying some oily, kind of grimy colors. And as a good final touch, I went back over that little VMS rubble and painted them using some kind of rocky colors just to help again pop it, make it stand out a little bit more. After finishing that road piece, I knew I wanted to create a couple more, testing out some more ideas that I have for some future projects. So I moved on to creating a snow base. Up until this point, whenever I wanted to make some rocks, I usually just went with my traditional method of creating them using plaster molds but I've known for a while now that you could use tree bark. So I picked out some interesting looking shapes and used them to create the rock face. I then went about filling in behind the rock face with some cork again to build up some height and capped it off with some more bark. I then hit it with a coat of white primer. Following this up, I went and painted all of the rocks. For this, I just used my darkest gray because I knew it would contrast pretty well with the white of the snow and it would lighten it up pretty significantly. And then it was on to using a new product for me called the Snow Sprinkles. And for this, it kind of looks like it rep 
represents more of the melted kind of snow. So I covered it mainly on the rocks where I would think naturally the sun would have warmed up the rocks and melted some of that snow. So I covered it pretty liberally. Speaking of the snow, I just slathered it onto the base and stippled it to give it some more of texture instead of that smooth apply with a spatula look. And then using some of it to go back to that snow sprinkles and applying it in the kind of centers of them to show like there are bigger mounds of snow that just have been melting over time. And at this point I felt like it needed a little bit more and I had bought some of those seafoam trees that I'd wanted, been wanting to use for a while now and I figured let's, let's try to use them as dead bushes. I meant it when I said I was trying a whole bunch of new products today. So I found the most fiddly looking ones that looked mostly tree-like that were easy enough to cut off and I just glued them all over the place. Once they were dry I went back with some of that snow sprinkles and applied it over the top just to give them that more icy look. And then to cap it off I used one of my practice figures to imprint some footprints into the snow. And with that I was on to my final base. Same size piece of XPS foam with again cork to build up the sides. But for this I wanted a muddy, ruddy little kind of messed up trail. So I used the backside of a hot wire cutter to help score and build those ruts into the foam itself. Just so I wouldn't have to use so much texture paste down the line to create those ruts themselves. Speaking of the texture paste for this, I just used Dark Earth, which was the same one I used for the road as well. And I just applied it liberally to the entire surface. Using my least favorite brush, and I'm not joking, you should use your worst brush for this because it will absolutely destroy them, but using it to help stipple and add texture to the paste even further. I then let the paste kind of firm up a little bit and using some old set of tracks that I had from a previous build, I wetted them down with some water and pressed them into the surface here and there. Just to again, show that this road is being traveled on. I also used a pair of road wheels at some point as well and just rolled them across the surface just to help create more of those ruddy textures. I then set it aside to let it completely dry and went about creating a large kind of bush using a twig as the base and using some more of that sea foam to help build out the branches and smaller little twigs. I just used some super glue with some super glue activator to help bind it all together pretty quickly. And once I was happy, I hit it with a coat of brown paint. Then using some five times mega freeze hairspray instead of the four times because four times is not enough. I use that to glue some of the Woodland Scenics green flocking on. Kind of reminds me I want to pick up some more leafy looking things aside from the flocking. And I went back and forth between adding flocking and using more hairspray until I got the kind of coverage I was looking for. And then I went about applying the static grass. But for some reason, I know for a fact that I hit record, but the video stopped about two seconds after I hit record. Don't know why that's the case. I'm using a new iPhone. Shouldn't happen. But maybe I should consider getting a dedicated camera for making these. Luckily, I wasn't using this piece as a test piece for the grass, but for the test piece for the road, plus the making of the bush. So it is what it is. Speaking of the muddy road or trail, I then wanted to weather it to add some more dimension to it. So I picked three earthy colors and I started with the lightest and eventually worked my way to the darkest, focusing the darkest ones on the deepest parts of the ruts and blending them all together while they were wet. And again, further blending everything with heavy uses of mineral spirits. One thing to note is two of these enamels also have a matte finish, whereas the, I think it's the fresh mud, the darkest of them, actually has a glossy tone to it. So it should help add a little bit more of that sheen of that fresh, dark, wet mud. And then at the very end, I used a buff acrylic paint and dry brushed over the tops just to help emphasize some of that drier tones towards the sides and just the raised portions of those ruts. And with that, I painted all three of the bases black, and they were all done.
so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i know this wasn't really a very big project but i thought it would be kind of fun to show some bases and go back to the quote unquote basics again sometimes you just need a little bit of a palette cleanser to kind of like build in between builds at least for me it was a fun little detour into doing something a little bit different for a change hopefully you learned something or took something away from this or just were entertained by my stumbling around and if you like what you saw and you want to see some bigger projects click here and if not i'll catch you in the next one